my Phoenix sound was used in Harry Potter. That was me. Like, if you go and play that, that's me. All right, everybody, we got one for you. I've waited for a long time. I had to pull and twist and punch Jordan to get one, but we got one, and it's a damn good one. Are you ready? Shop life is gonna start now. Neil, what are you working on? An oil change on Suzuki. You having fun with this one? Oh, it's a salt water one. What does that mean? That means a lot of stuff is corroded. It's a good tip for you. Don't buy a used salt water engine. One, it's going to be glued together when it's all in one piece because it's not going to come apart. That's why down south they have motors in piles. They just bolt new on, throw the other one in the garbage. It must be story time today. It must be story time today. Right? Story time today? Story time. Nice. So what do you suspect the problem? Could be a cylinder head, it could be there's a variety of things it could be, but there's probably a crack somewhere. Hopefully not. But. What are we dumping in there? Uh, dumping in waste oil in the waste oil bin, but this is milky oil coming from the engine. Now we're going to run it again. We'll check that thermostat again, make sure that something's still seated right. Salt water again. Why? There's no leaves in here. Oh yeah. We wanted to do this. Problems with salt water. Corrosion, like I talked before. Areas like what we just had here with the milky oil, a lot of times that's due to thermostats that are not opening, stuck open because condensation builds up. The problem with the salt water is eventually it corrodes, closes, lines, openings. So if it's one of those where the engine comes north, water's left in some of those crevices, mother nature does its thing, water, ice breaks, puts a little crack in there, and there you go, water in the oil. Somewhere in the engine, it's broke. So, good tip for you again. Don't buy anything down south that came out of salt water and bring it north, because eventually it's gonna cause you a lot of money. What are you working on? I am putting in a water pressure gauge, a trim sender gauge, and a Bluetooth piece. It's pretty cool, you download an app, and all your engine information goes to your phone. So live, running down the river, temperature, all sorts of stuff. Pretty cool technology. But we have to convert digital trim sender to analog gauge, so need some more parts. Where's your burp, 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 burp. No, where's a good one? That is a good one. That's not a good that one. That is a good one. No. That is the Makita 5000. <laughs> what? No love for the Makita? I've been using these for years. So, come on, Makita, here's your plug. Let's get a sponsorship going. Let's make this happen. Well, it is the deal. That is nice. It's not. What are we doing? On. What? We're converting. Conversing. We're taking the Mercury 150 four stroke digital trim sending unit and flipping it to analog. Why would you want to do that? Because we have an analog gauge with a digital motor. Well, why did they buy an analog gauge? Because 97% of your motors run an analog sending unit. In the Mercury world, Turn the camera and look at that number right there. That motor runs digital. Why? 
we felt the need to put them on the 150s, I guess, to make the 150 world digital. I'm sure it was uh, something going on with the hanger bracket, motor, we didn't have room for the analog sender, so we'll slam this one in there and everything will be fine. An afterthought. Kind of. And then you gotta go buy a $60 conversion kit to make your trim gauge work in your boat because it's hooked up digitally to analog. You gotta convert it to analog back here and send it up. And they did that right here in this little bag of fun. See this little bag of fun that's right down here? See this? See that little bag of fun in there? Yeah. We go in with three wires and we come out with five. Going boldly. Going boldly to analog from digital. Yeah, so about 90% of all boats from back in them days, especially that vintage, were all analog gauges. And um, for them to throw a digital sending unit into a heavily analog system uh, across the country, I don't know, I don't get it. I just don't understand it, but I'm sure they had their reasoning. But uh, for me, no, not the deal. I don't know if I'm a fan of this. Oh, do it again. <laughs> I don't know that I like this. Why? Why do why why? Why chip? Angle. Why can't you have a, why can't you have a normal freaking ratchet? Why? No, it's fine. I got it. it's working. Shut up. Leave it alone. Stop. Well, small tools are for small you know what. It's for tight places. There you go. I'm not in a tight place. No, I'm I'm fine. Everything's working out right now. Yep, I'm good. Are you good? Can we test this thing? Good. Boom. Another great conversion kit brought to you by Mercury Marine. Ready to rock. We were able to run this fine unit here. We're going to be able to have his function on his Merc app. Vessel view. Vessel view, Bluetooth, on his cell phone. It's going to be awesome. Be I like technology. Yeah, technology is cool. Yeah. So we're taking a bunch of info that's piled into here and we're just throwing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we get that on film? Who's this? Hello? What's going on with this? Um, somebody bought a motor on this, I don't know what this is, orange machine. And uh, I believe he knew it was salt water. We are fresh water up here. The only salt we get is when we add it to our water up here on our own. Um, and he's got problems. We've got corrosion, we've got, and if it comes to us taking a power head, we're not going to do that because it's going to be stuck together. It's going to be like glued together. We're not doing it. I was at a marina down south one time in Florida that there was a pile of outboards. And I said, what's that? All junk? He said, no, those are glued together. So he just takes them off, throws them in the pile, and then you put a brand new one on. That's why you don't do this. Salt water, outboards, they don't mix when they need to come apart. That's just how it is. Stuff gets stuck together. It takes. Sometimes six months, sometimes it takes a year. Uh, anything over that, it's always a pain in the ass, not the deal. I was down in Florida at a marina down there, and uh, they ended up, I saw the pile of the graveyard of death there, and uh, I said, what's going on there? He said, oh, those are all the motors that uh, won't come apart. Literally, like, six foot high pile of just carnage. Outboard carnage. It was, uh, I mean, it, it just happens. The corrosion just happens, glues it together. Don't, don't, don't do it, don't do it. It's turning the goddamn oil to milk, that's what it's doing. No thermostats in it, nothing. It just, there's a thermostat in it now. But you take the thermostat cover out and look inside, it looks like you poured road salt in there. It's junk. It's junk. But it's running. Start you got plenty of gas there now, she'll fire. I'll pump the shit. 
Did you do the back light wrong? You can have light. Tell me about it. So this is a connection I replaced in a boat. Why? Why would you replace that? Well, twisting wires together and then just siliconing over them. Hey, maybe <laughs> maybe they read directions that said twist and solder and they thought it said oh. silicone. Maybe. It's not good. Why? So, it's waterproof. It's not because it's not even fully. Oh, that's coated. where it was touching though. Oh, the solder. Look at. See? One one drop of solder. I mean, it's almost. Yeah. Kind of how we don't do it. It's fine. I don't see anything wrong. I, well, you know, we I cut it out and Why? I put crimp heat shrink terminals. Yeah, I think that's fine. Look at Chad, going the extra mile. That is you know, nice. That's really just, nice to you. Otherwise, they hit a bump. And, do you test things when you're done? I usually test them. <laughs> <laughs> Are you referring to somebody <laughs> in particular? No, I wouldn't do that. No. No. We always test. Every yeah. time. Every multiple, time. Multiple, multiple, multiple times. Hey. Tell everyone at home who the hell you are. I'm Zach Hauser. I'm Andy's uh, nephew. And you want to do this for a living, huh? Yep. You're crazy. I know. Has the world been introduced to my nephew yet? I just asked him who he was. What did you come up with? He figured out the answer. He did? Yeah. <laughs> did that on his own? Yep. Yeah. So. I don't know, there's a list we could go on about him, but we're just gonna leave it at you got introduced, and that's what you get. Alright? So Zach's just my little uh nephew, kinda of tall enough your nephew, I guess. Uh he has a vision of being a mechanic someday, so uh, give him the opportunity and uh, you'll see how it goes. It'll be I mean look at it. So just zoom go. Zach! What are you doing? Checking over water where the fuck says. See, did you get that? This is on little world. He's good. Good job. Keep going. Don't stop. Where's your clipboard? You don't have a clipboard yet? We're going to get you a clipboard. So you want to check everything over. Everything over. Looks like it needs a haircut. Five bucks if you like it. I probably go for that. You have to lick down here though, where it's wet. for a free lunch. Thank <laughs> you. 
Offer still stands, Zach. I'll give you 50. White as can be. Head. Head. Flop. Broke. Garbage. And I'm not sure on these, on this one on the this jacket on the side, I don't know if it's anywhere near oil. This should be just water jacket. But sometimes, you know what I mean, there's a, like on the head, there's a separate spot for the oil to go through, there's a separate spot for the water to go through. On these, I think that's the only place. So when your oil turns milky on your four-stroke, that means that water is entering into your oiling system somewhere, whether it's through the exhaust, through uh, the head, something's cracked, there's something's broken, and uh, you're not going to get it to stop unless you actually take it apart and find out where the problem is. Tell me about it. What's going on? You change the oil, you put new oil in, it turns white. You change the oil again, you put new oil in, it turns white. You change the oil again for the third time, the oil is white. We're done. Uh, this engine, it's junk. Unbolt it. It's garbage. <laughs> I have orange underwear, huh? Hey, mine's green. Green! Separate tax. Orange. What do you got? What do you Come got? On. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Get it off. Yeah, get them all. Let's is it, go. Is it green or blue? I don't know. You don't have any on. Neil doesn't wear have any yeah. today. Neil doesn't have any underwear. <laughs> yes, get Come on. Where the f are the are blue. Armachillo. You are hot. Armachillo. Chillos. Nike, Armachillos, and Separatex. Separatex. <laughs> all designed to keep your stuff in a spot. What color you got on? Huh? What well, color do you got? What color do you got? Don't say pink. You'll kicked in the nuts. Great. Okay, great. He doesn't have For a minute there, I thought we were going to have to kick him. Oh, okay. He had the great. Yeah. Yeah. But well, you'll, old, you'll want separate tech or you'll want. Yeah, we you're going to want the hugger. Yeah, you're just going to. When your stuff starts to come in and fall down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you're going to want something better than what you're wearing right there. That is going to twist and shout all day long. You're going to with stomach aches. Bat wing look. You know what I'm nervous right now? Because Chad's been back in a boat in for like five minutes, and I don't know where he is. Oh, I hear him. Hold on. Yep. We can either wait for it to show up, or you want me to give you a quick description of what happened. A quick uh, description. What did he hit? Uh, foundation, house, found concrete foundation. Well, it uh, never surprised me what Tom can hit, um, but Tom hitting a foundation, literally a concrete wall underwater around here, yeah, it's like a needle in a damn haystack. Monster special. It, yeah, it's another Monsieur special. But it, in, like he said, when he came in giggling, he goes, the only way you can break it <laughs> is hit a foundation at wide open. <laughs> Tommy, 
The river hasn't been at this height for quite some time and things like that. And basically what he hit is the old farmstead foundation down there. It was an old, uh, I think it was a farmstead or it could have been the old uh, water mill that he had hit. Um, but it, it just, it, it doesn't happen up here. There's like one or two out in Lake on Alaska. There's one on pool nine. So if you take the measurement of distance of water volume and hitting a foundation, I don't think, you, you got a better chance of winning the lottery. But you know who hits them? Good old Tommy. Why are my batteries always dead? Why are my batteries dead? I can't understand why my batteries die so much. Tell me about it. Well, that back there is what you call, I hit a foundation down in Iowa and wrecked my lower unit. So he gets a new one, he gets a brand new lower unit. You know, he comes home for two, three weeks, and this is what happens. But it's good for business. It's good for business. Bowsers. That is a good one. A really good one. The foundation. What was he, why did he hit a foundation? He felt like it. It's been a long time since he did one of these for me, so he felt generous and wanted to do a lower unit for me. That came off. That's dude. when the prop hit there. <laughs> wow, that's broken. Lots of that. That's gone, that's done. It's going in the garbage. Six in that. He's got the trophy in the boat. He's yeah. got it? It's in the boat. Nice, he's taking it. Show it to me. Just chunk, 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 chunk. Wow. Bad. I got his other lower here too. Backup. Really? Backups. The carrier is broke. Oh. I mean, it is what it is. Grab the skeg. It's lighter. And another Monsoor special. Brought to you by Tom. It's just what it is. Back. You're not gonna put that back on. No. no. Well, show me why we can't put that back on. Part's still inside of it. Oh. He actually went swimming for this and found it. Trust walker's still on it. That's good. Conversation. Please. What's going down with this? Um. Getting a brand new compressor. He was, I can't remember how long it was, three, four weeks ago, he was here for a tournament and the uh, compressor took a crap. We had uh, basically a used one, loaner one, and uh, basically we put that on so he can fish the tournament. He put money down towards it in case that one took a crap. And uh, we're putting a new one, new one on, finishes off the payment, he's out the door. So that's what we're doing. What are we doing? Putting that on the compressor. Oh. Oh, this is the guy that saved? Yeah, it's the one you saved for a tournament. Cool. Tournament day. Whoa. Easy on the Phoenix cover. Phoenix. Going boldly? No? What's your Phoenix sound? What's my Phoenix? What? Sound. I, what, I don't even know what the hell they make. Can <laughs> they do that? Is that a Phoenix sound? 
Pete, you think of Harry Potter? Uh, more high pitch. It is more high pitch. That was perfect. That was not perfect. That was it. No. If there's any Harry Potter fans out there watching, I watched Harry Potter with my wife because it was kind of cool. But um, that is it. No, it's not. Well, who, what? What's folks? Isn't it folks? Folks? Huh? Folks? Huh? Help me out here. No. No. Who's the Who's the main wizard? What's his name? What's his name? The old one? Yeah. Dumbledore. See? What the f wrong with you? Dumbledore. You know who that was? The hey, main guy? Hey, hey, I'm getting older. Dumbledore. He has a phoenix. And it's orange. And when it swoops in to save Harry, it from... doesn't do that. That I can't even do it. Fine. Entire. Folks. But no, that's it. No, it's that's not. exactly it. That's too much. That is it. That is it. That is it. Okay. That's no. what it does. I'm serious. That's exactly what it is. They used me for that. No, they did. You were not in that movie. I've been here. Guaranteed. That's a phoenix sound. Oh. That's what she, when you turn a key on here, it's like the key. That's what bass catch do. My phoenix sound was used in Harry Potter. That is the sound you hear. So when folks leaves, and the only reason I know is my wife's a heavy Harry Potter fan, and I, you know I watched him. Yeah, I watched him. It's cool, but the that was me. Like if you go and play that, that's me. I did that. So if any of you guys that know this, I don't give a shit, you go watch it. You'll be like, that is him. So I did do that. So yes, it was, it's perfect. It's spot on. So we like to keep a lot of used parts around that are good, uh, just because people have tournaments or they're out of town on vacation. And so it's a good way for us to get them back onto the water. And most of the time they bring the boat back, they'll bring, they'll put money down, bring the boat back, and there they go. Brand new one goes on, they're out later on after they're all done with their tournament or their vacation. Or sometimes we just sell the new stuff to them just so they can go and be done and head home and not have to worry about it. That was ours. Time to get the new one. Sunny out. Sunny and 70 in Wisconsin today. What are we doing? Oh, we gotta go to the river. We gotta take care of power pole problems. Um, I believe the board's bad, motor's bad, one of the two type of thing. I just gotta be able to get this power pole up so this guy can use his boat so I can get him a pump. Um, you know, I these are rare for us now up here. Before it was always a line breakage or something like that. And, um, this guy we're going to see, he takes care of his so it's not like it's lack of maintenance. It would be probably, it's just aged or moisture has gotten in there. Um, it is a ranger. It does leak water back in that part. Um, so I don't know, we'll see when we get there. I was there once already this spring and we've got a pump on order for them. And we're actually, it just started working the other day. So everything was good. And then now all of a sudden it worked and doesn't want to come back up. So. We'll go down there and figure out what's going on. Get it so at least he can use his boat. Get a new pump in. If I have to, I'll just pull the whole pump and it works and everything right out and just disconnect it and bring it back to the shop and just float his lines, cap his lines off. That's probably what I'm gonna do and be done. So that's my deal, I'm sticking to it. Here we go. Let it be known, Andy Hauser makes house calls. Uh, only for certain customers. <laughs> Yeah, so the loyalty thing is huge for me. Customers that have been here a long time, customers that have never flared away, never changed it, always been class acts when they're here. I'll go to their homes to fix it. I'll go to the trailer to fix it. Um, it it's a limited number, but yeah, some people do get that. What's it look like? Solid green does not mean go. Water. But we've got that issue going on. Can you see that? We'll see it. 
that right there. Tell me about it. We're corroding all this. Yeah. We're not making connectivity, I don't believe. So, not, we're not sounding off. We're not doing anything. We're just like locked up to the world. Now this is the mock-up right here, just trying to bypass the corroded fuse holder to see if we can't get power back to that pump to make this thing work. Problem is, is we're not flashing green, so our board is basically giving me the... Hey man, f*** off! Adjustable. What is? The old adjustable. Oh, it works. If you don't have an adjustable wrench inside your toolbox when you're coming to the river, oh. you're a fool. Charles Lindbergh. He took that on his uh, on his flight to Spirit of St. Louis. He did? Yeah. Do you it's know one, what he was doing? It's one of the few tools he took with. Hey, Chuck. I don't think they called him Chuck. You think they called him Chuck? I don't think they ever called him. I don't know if you got enough ground wires going here. Ooh, how about really reliable? Yeah, it's rely on battery. It's been very reliable. That makes you feel good. With the lithium pro over here? Yeah, lithium pro over there. Yeah, we're snapping. That's fine. That breath will pop. That's fine. You'd snap too if you were lithium. That was the reset. What are we working on now? I'm taking this panel off back here so we can get a closer look at what's going on. It's nice down here, a little breeze. Yeah. A couple bluegills fishing. Not really. I'd much rather be in the shop. But that's what it is. Some guys that take care of you in the long run, you take care of them. This guy starts his spring off every year with. Lots of money at Team Marine, so. We've been loyal, so I'll help him if he needs it. Water. Water in the back into the pump is not the deal. So, we have a fried pump. We're locked up. Thank you, Mr. update is, is we have basically a whole pump board which is in my hand right here I believe that it's shot the motor spins freely so I'd love to be able to get those out but I gotta be able to get that in the up position to do that tell me what you're doing again here uh, what am I doing I right now am Get ready to take this uh, motor and board back to the shop. It's not a common problem with them. I don't see it a lot up here. Uh, probably, I would say probably my fourth or fifth one ever that I've had these problems with. But the only reason I'm doing both is because it's Mike and Mike wants everything to match. So we're going to do them both. The one I probably could just repair and put it back on, but we'll just get it new. Come to me. in here you come with me you come with me you go in here too you go back on here for um update is both pumps are got water in them leaking water in from the back through the ranger hole on top of the pumps fill them both up so you need two pumps motors everything just complete so i'm just gonna get two completes and be done boom boom there you go that's it we're done we're out we're done i hope you love this video because i love doing these style videos so comment below tell us what you think um and always you know comment and tell me what you want to see more of if you like these style videos put it down here so jordan can read it it's the only way i get these videos he won't let me do them unless we get a bunch of comments so comment down here below so we can do more of these style videos because i love doing them so 
like I always say, as always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness. And I hope soon everybody is going to say speed, money, and no breaks. I'm out. See ya! It could be like freaking Finding Nemo where the f***ers are running around going, mine, 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 mine.